We begin at 11 with breaking news in Philadelphia. A police officer injured after being struck by a driver behind the wheel of a car taken in a robbery carjacking. I'm Sheba Russell. We want to get straight out to Steve Keeley at the scene in Hunting Park. Steve, how did this all begin? Well, let's go backwards, so let's show you the video because this is where it ends here in the 1000 block of Ruscombe Street, and this is the white Honda Civic stolen Sunday in northeast Philadelphia in an armed point-of-gun carjacking. So police were already looking for this Honda Civic and two officers on patrol here at Front and Hunting Park Streets spot the Honda that matches the plate and the car is stuck in traffic when one of the officers on the passenger side gets out of the police vehicle and approaches the car that's stuck in traffic. The driver of the Honda Civic obviously sees the police officers and then tries to get out of traffic by smashing his way out, hitting the police car, hitting the officer. The officer then goes up on the hood. This white Honda Civic then makes a right turn off Hunting Park on the front street, side swipes, a Mazda that's sitting in traffic with two young men inside. The officer goes flying off the hood as the Honda Civic floors it to get away. That's about two miles from this scene when police find this Honda Civic. It's where you see it now, abandoned. The officers got close enough to look in the windows. They saw a man driving it, a female passenger, and they figured that guy was probably armed, and that's why he didn't want police to find him and his gun and perhaps more evidence that he was the one that carjacked the car. So they are now looking for the male carjacker, the female passenger possibly walking with him somewhere, and they're also holding that car as a crime scene sheep because they're hoping to get some fingerprints, some DNA off of that and maybe get previous DNA evidence that this guy may have been swapped from a prior crime or prior fingerprints and identify him and then put out uh, the wanted poster for this guy because now he's not just wanted for an armed carjacking Sunday but an aggravated assault against the law enforcement officer which is about as serious as it gets in the crime fighting business. So this officer as Chief Inspector Scott Small told us Sheba very very lucky mm -hmm. out doing his job and then suddenly is in a life or death situation and nearly run over by a guy trying to get away from police here at Front and Hunting Park. So it could have been a lot worse than it was, but they got a guy who's very dangerous still on the streets and they want to get him. Sheba? Yeah, absolutely. And thankfully, just some scrapes and bruises for that officer. Steve, thank you.